Hey there, Josh Hoffman here from Hack My Time, showing you how I use Monday.com for tracking my time. So I have in here one of my boards, time tracking, and it's quite simple. I break it down per week. So this is the week of October 28th, 2018, and I have here the specific tasks or the specific actions that I'm doing. I have the date of the action or the task, the task type. So I break these down, shallow work, deep work, driving, meetings, phone calls, and breaks. And then I have time tracking here. And all you have to do for time tracking is you go into the column center, scroll down to board power up, and then you just click on time tracking to add that column. And so what I do, it's, it's pretty simple, right? I put in my task or my action, put in the date, select the task type, and then I have two options here. I'll show you an example, for example. So this is a task as an example, put in the date. And then if I want to record in real time, what I'll do is I'll just click on this little play button. And as you see here now, it's tracking my time. Uh, whereas if you want to record something that's away from monday.com, what you can do is you can actually just click on here, click on add session, and then put in the date, put in the start time, and then put in the end time. Add the session and then it'll add it there for you. And you can add multiple sessions to a singular task. For instance, if you want to you know, group your tasks together, like here I put block PR tasks, then you can group them together through multiple sessions. The other thing you can do is instead of writing out every single task here in this area, you can just click on uh, this task for example and then you can add in the update area all the specific tasks you did which is important for the second part of this board once you have all your tasks for the week you're going to want to go back and you are going to start filtering out and seeing where you're investing most of your time and so for example if i want to know so far this week how much time i've spent driving i can filter through driving and then i can see here i spent an hour and 45 minutes on driving Let's say, for example, I want to figure out how, how many phone calls and meetings I've had and how much time I've dedicated to each of those things. So I can select phone calls. I can also select meetings. And then I can see here just this week in the last few days, two hours and 35 minutes. And usually, more often than not, meetings and phone calls are considered shallow work, not deep work. Now, let's say I want to see how much deep work I actually have been doing so far this week. I can come here and I can see I've done four hours and 20 minutes of deep work. Again, this is really what you want to be measuring here is how much deep work you're doing each day, each week, each month, etc. And then I can also see how much shallow work, for example, which I also can include phone calls and meetings. And I can see here I've done four hours and 35 minutes of shallow work. So again, the idea with time tracking is to really determine how much time you're dedicating to deep work versus shallow work, and then of course optimizing from there.